Hey guys, today we are looking at a Synology DS918 Plus and we're going to be upgrading it to a Synology DS1019 Plus. So we're getting that extra fifth bay which is going to be nice. Um, it's got a little bit more memory and better CPU. So let's go ahead and do this migration. So the first thing we're going to want to do is log into this NAS, power it down, which you could really do by powering that button down. But in this case, we're going to do a quick backup just to make sure once the backup is complete, we're going to power down the NAS and then basically pop these drives out, put them into the new one and do the migration. All right, we are in our Synology now. So I use the Hyper Backup to do my backups to an external device and you can see my backup is already completed. So we're gonna close out of here and I see I have a notification. And you can see the backup has been completed about 18 hours ago. So we are good to go ahead and shut down this machine. So we're gonna power it down, hit yes. Okay, so one thing to note, on this Synology, I have uh, two M.2 SATA drives in there for SSD caching. We need to safely remove that um, before we pull them out and put them into the new uh, Synology station. So we wanna hit cancel on that. And we're gonna go to our storage manager and gonna go to our SSD caching. And you can see I got those two drives in there. We're gonna go ahead and remove this so it can safely remove any um, saved data or cached data that might be on there that it hasn't saved to the disk yet. So we're gonna put in our password here. And hit submit. Okay, it's being removed. And it's, see that where it says saving cache data to drive. Um, so you wanna make sure you do this before uh, you take those drives out and put them into the new Synology because if you don't, whatever's on those Draw, uh, those M.2 drives, you could lose that data um, and it p could potentially corrupt some of the files that you might have. Um, so yeah, that's why you want to safely remove this. Um, so while that's processing, should be here, almost done here. And then we can go ahead, and then now we can safely shut down the Synology. All right, you can see our Synology is not powering down. Once it powers down, we can unplug the power and connect cables out, plug them into the new one replace the power adapter, and then we can just pop out these drives and you want to put each one back into each bay. So like one needs to go into one, two, two, and so on and so on. And then we got underneath this, we have our two M.2 SATA drives we want to take out and put in the bottom of this one so we can rebuild that um, caching array. All right, we have our old Synology, our new Synology. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock each bay and we're basically gonna be swapping the drives from here into our new one here. So we're gonna pop our, out our first one here, lay it on top, and then same here. And now we're gonna go ahead and unsnip this, put it in this one, put it in the first bay, and do that for each of your drives until you're done. All right, as you can see, we have all of our drives in there we are now ready to put this back up on the shelf get the power on and boot this back up and then we're going to start the migration now for these servers I have them upside down because can't forget to take our m.2 drives out of here and we got to put them into our new thing so we can do read and write caching so to take these out let's pull that tab pull them out New one. Go, got one, got the second one coming out. And put the covers back on. power it up all right we got our unit back on the shelf we got the power cord plugged back in and we got the two ethernet cables plugged back in and then we have the USB for our backup drive back in so we can still keep doing backups power it on we're getting the blue light we have to wait for the bio uh, for the 
uh, operating system to boot up here and you might be getting a beeping noise once this fully boots up. In some cases I've seen that. Um, but once you start seeing all these lights coming up, the status will be flashing orange. And that's when we know we can go to the Synology Finder and find the new IP address. And we should be able to migrate all the settings and apps back in. You can see it, it did the beeping and now we have that orange light. So we should be able to get into the Synology Finder now. So let's go see if we can find the new IP address and start that migration. All right, we have our Synology Assistant open. You can see it quickly found. Since we have two Ethernet uh, cables plugged in, that's why it's showing two different IPs because each one's set up for DHCP right now and our status is migratable. So that's perfect. So if we go to that IP, you can see now we're at the migration wizard. You can see our old Synology here, our new ones here, and we're gonna go ahead and click on migrate. And this is very important. We want to select migration, keep data, and most of the settings. Uh, reinstallation will keep your data, but it's gonna uh, you're gonna have to reinstall all your apps and settings. So this is why you want to keep do the top one, uh, keep m keep my data in most of the settings. Not everything's migratable, but in most cases I've seen everything really pull over pretty well. Um, so it's going to start this, and we should be almost done here. All right, we're at the part where it completed that migration. Now we're just waiting for it to reboot and it should reboot with our same IP address and all of our settings. Like I said, I'm gonna carry over all the settings, but most of them. So let's just wait for this to reboot and then we'll be set. All right, we logged back into our Synology now and it's the same IP address as before, the same name, everything. Oh. All right, uh, we can't forget to do one thing, which is setting up that caching. So we need to go to our storage manager, go to uh, the HDD, and we can see here we got our two cache drives in there. So go to SSD cache, click on create. We're gonna do read and write cache since we have two. Hit next, select our two drives here. Next, so it's gonna put in RAID 1, that's fine. The max is 238 gigs, that's fine. It's gonna wipe those drives, no problem, hit okay. So it's formatting those drives now and creating that new array. And it's mounting the drives. And then we'll have read and write caching our Synology uh, back since we did the migration. So yeah, we're up and running. You might have to do some updates, uh, I already did my updates just now uh but yeah everything's all running and updated That's it. so when you do this you got to be careful before you do the migration remove that ssd cache do the migration then re-add the cache uh, drives and you won't lose any data so that's it hope this video is helpful